can't believe it's already June. It's crazy how May just like flew by. I, I mean, I remember just yesterday, well, it feels like just yesterday, I did my April favorites video. Um, it's kind of crazy. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is this Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume. Um, this was a gift for my husband and I actually got this in May and I've been like wearing this non-stop. I love this smell. It's very woodsy, very musky, um, but it has like a hint of like, like not vanilla, but like, I don't know, I'm not good at describing perfumes, but it's, it's like, it's something I really like because it's very musky, so it's one of those perfumes that it sticks on your skin and you smell it throughout the day. So yeah, I love this and I got the white one because the black version of this is actually really, really strong and it kind of like has like this manly scent to it, which I know I don't mind most of the time, but I really like this scent. So um, my husband knew that I was pretty obsessed with the white one, so he ended up getting getting it for me. The next thing I've been loving is this NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and my shade is St. Moritz Medium 1 and I love this uh, tinted moisturizer because it has good coverage and it kind of goes like a little matte so a lot of tinted moisturizers are kind of really dewy and, and glowy which I love for the most part but in the summertime those dewy glowy tinted moisturizers are no good because you tend to like get hot and sweaty and so it just it just doesn't work it doesn't work for the summer this NARS tinted moisturizer it does keep your makeup in place and you know you just need a little bit of powder to kind of set it in certain areas but overall this is a really great um, tinted moisturizer the next thing that I'm like really going crazy um, about is this hourglass um, blush these are supposed to be like really pretty because they have that ambient um, kind of glow to it and it's like perfect for pictures and it's it's really 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 beautiful a really beautiful blush so the shade that I got is the um, luminous flush and I'll show you what it looks like so it looks like that and it's very very beautiful it's like a pink marbly color and it goes on very natural very pretty and yeah I've been really loving this like for every day it's like perfect so it's actually called the ambient lighting blush um, and it's supposed to give you like a glow within you know like very natural and yeah I love hourglass it's just it's a really beautiful beautiful brand the next thing I've been loving is this Real Techniques mini brush and I got the mini brush set and this is so cute um, I think it might be like the mini for the multitasker but the brush is actually very um, very dense so it's not as fluffy as this one um, but it's good like for traveling like if you're you know going out or something and you're carrying like a little powder it's kind of good to like dab it and then just you know like perfect for powder um, but it's it's also really good for like applying like your concealer under your eye or like even foundation it kind of works like the multitasker this one it's it's very very cute it's called the multi face brush so I guess that's why it kind of works for multi-purpose but yeah so this is another thing that I've been really really enjoying so the next thing is this lipstick and this is a Dior addict extreme lipstick and my shade is the 356 Cherie bow I think yeah I can't see um, and it's just it's I mean first of all Dior Dior packaging like let's let's take a moment and appreciate this like amazing packaging when I first 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 um, like my first ever uh, Dior lipstick I was like trying to like open it from here and then I was like okay why is it not working but then duh um, yeah it's, it's a beautiful lipstick, so it's kind of like a natural pink, like a dusty pink. The texture of this is very creamy. Um, it has like a little shimmer to it, um, but that's, the shimmer is what adds like that little glow to your lips. Um, it's very subtle, but yeah, I mean, I love this lipstick very much. It's one of my favorite, favorite um, kind of dusty pink lipsticks, um, so yeah. Another thing I've been really enjoying is the, actually the eyeshadow, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but I have a, like a highlighter eyeshadow in my inner corners. The shade of this one is called Floof, and it's very, very beautiful. I mean, this is like, I've been using this nonstop in my inner corners, and even in my Cupid's bow, um, it just adds like, and sometimes like I'll add like a little bit of my, on, 
on the tip of my nose and it just looks like you know when you take a shower and you get out and you have like this like your nose is like shiny so I've been using this on the tip of my nose to kind of give me that effect so as far as nail polishes I've been really enjoying like the purples and the violets um, and I don't know there's something about this color I've just been drawn to it all month like just anything that has to do with like purple or violet like or even like pink like I'm just I'm just drawn to it like even with my shirt and my lips like I just I'm I'm like loving this color right now so I have this shade which is sitting pretty and then this one is called go go Ginza or Ginza um, but I have the um, sitting pretty on my nails right now and it's just so pretty I don't know I don't know if the camera will do it justice but it's like this beautiful kind of like purple pastel neon color um, it's very very pretty definitely definitely recommend the sit and pretty one because it's a really really pretty shade you won't regret it so this month I actually picked up kind of upgraded to a new um, flat iron and I got this beauty and this is the GH the Eclipse flat iron and oh my goodness I love this flat iron I actually use this flat iron on in my um, was it get ready video so if you'd like to see how my hair how how it works definitely go check that video I'll actually link it down in the down bar so you guys can just click right right to it um, but yeah I've been like ugh, I've been obsessed with this flat iron it's like it's just perfect um what I really like about it is that um, it the temperature just goes with your hair like it, it won't heat up more than it has to and if your hair is hot it'll go lower like it'll work with the temperature of your hair so it won't burn it or damage it um, and I love like I can't show you now because it's not connected but the button like it's really like if you own a GHD flat iron like the ones where you click the you kind of move the switch on in the inside then you would know that it like beats when it's ready but this one's cool because when you click the button to turn it on you kind of have to like hold it and then it'll say right it's kind of like very um futuristic and then the inside glows and it'll beep just like the other ones but i think it makes like a different sound when it's ready and another cool thing about this is if you leave it on i believe for more than 30 minutes without it being used it'll shut off on its own so it's really really um kind of like it'll prevent you from having a fire. <laughs> as far as like how your hair turns out, um, I use this to curl my hair, I use it to flat iron my hair, and it just leaves, first of all, it lasts a really long time. Like, I haven't touched this up. This is actually like two day hair, and it's, you know, it still looks really good. But like, especially when I flat, flat iron my hair, my hair st stays very, very silky looking, very shiny looking, um, and it just like, I don't have to touch it up. I mean, I do because you know it's kind of like my thing like to just touch up in the morning and like I comb it out um, you don't really have to it really really keeps your hair um, like looking like if you it just keeps your hair style last it lasting a really long time and I just I love it and it's so quick um, it just like that's another thing too like it's supposed to like do your hair in a much faster time than the regular GHD um, flat irons but yeah I've been loving this baby it is kind of pricey but it's definitely definitely worth the money and yeah very happy about this since I'm already doing technology another thing that I've been really really loving this month is actually an app and it is called Spotify and I will show you what it looks like my battery is dead so you can see that but I'll probably just do a close-up of this um, but it's really cool. So what you do is you can actually browse like the artist that you want to listen to just like Pandora and um, What's the other one? 88 Tracks just like that like you browse um, The artist that you want to you want to listen to and then it'll give you like all of their albums all of their songs and it's kind of like You can even look up like latest like 90s to 2000 hip-hop and it'll give you like a playlist and it's like really like a really awesome playlist and I've just been really really enjoying this app very much like I don't I don't download my music from iTunes anymore I just listen to the music here and I am actually I have the premium account and so what you can do is because with the regular app you cannot use it um, like if you're on the train or something where there's no service you can't use it um, but if you have the premium account what you do is you 
if you like a song you add it to your playlist and then there's like a little like um kind of like a button you switch and it'll say like off available offline and you can listen to all of these tracks offline like when you have no service so like if you're on the train um you can listen to these songs and it's just amazing because it just like i pay i think it's like um 9.99 a month but it's so worth it because if you really think about it when you um download music so much more expensive here you can make multiple playlists you can multiple artists and like just it's just it's it's an amazing app and i love it um yeah i mean you don't have to get the premium account you can just get the regular account but i personally prefer because i've like hooked it up and i have like a really nice playlist i had to get the premium account so i can access that playlist when i don't have service but that's another thing that i've been really really enjoying and i i discovered it this month and it it is pretty pretty cool so as you guys can see my lighting is going away so I have to hurry up. So I just have two more things left and they're actually fashion uh, fashion items and the this may seem I know a lot of people are not crazy about these but what I've been really really loving this month is these babies. My Birkenstocks. I picked these up I think in April. Late April. So I've been like wearing this like every day. I mean these are the most comfortable sandals i originally wanted the black leather ones but when i tried them on they were so uncomfortable i could not walk in them and these are the most comfortable shoes like they're ugly but they're so comfortable i i could walk in these like forever i love these and to make up for the black ones that i couldn't get i was actually in target and they were actually selling um sam edelman design like like design for target and so there's this like brand called sam and libby i discovered these these babies were only like 25 bucks and these are also super super comfortable and they have these like studs on the side and two straps so you can like adjust them um they are starting to make a little sound like a squeaky sound when i walk which is kind of annoying but i mean they're really really comfortable and they're really cute with the studs on the side um so i mean i can't couldn't go wrong for 25 bucks so these are like these like Birkenstocks I've been wearing them like there's no tomorrow and then the last thing I want to share with you guys is this beautiful beautiful white blazer that I got from Zara um, not so long ago and I am so happy that I bought this because this is one of those items that I know I would have regret um, not getting in the long run because it's such a beautiful beautiful thing and I'll actually see if I can insert a picture of me wearing this because I did get to wear it already um, but yeah it's this beautiful white blazer and like it's it's kind of like three quarters because it doesn't go all the way to your to your wrist and it's kind of like um, scrunched up here and I think it's like sewed on so you can't really like bring this down to your to your to your <laughs> to your wrist but I'm okay with that because I actually like folding my sleeves when I wear a blazer. Um, so yeah, and then it, it has no buttons, but it has like this little like kind of like connection here, which I love because it kind of just gives like this loose fit, which I'm all about. And um, and it has like little pockets, but you can't really put in, put anything in here because they're so tiny. Um, but it's just beautiful. It was, again, it was really pricey. It was like $140, which... I was like on the verge of not getting but I, I I had to I mean it's it's obviously something that I know that I'm going to regret not getting Ugh. oh my god I just hit it with my lipstick that's terrible YouTube problems anyway um, I know that it was going to be one of these items that I was going to regret getting so I'm actually really really happy that I got it um, I got a size small which I'm usually like a size medium um, but I think because it's such a loose fit, um, they kind of run big, so I ended up getting the small, and it fits, like, really, really good, so, yeah, um, yeah, but I love it, and I'm so mad now because it has a lipstick stain, it's not that bad, but, oh, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already, and if you like the video and you want to see more, like, be sure to please give it a thumbs up. Alright, thanks and have a great day. Bye!